guys, this is Sneaker Society back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing What's poppin' YouTube? What's up guys? Sneaker Society back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing our uh clothing collection video. We're not gonna be showing you like you know like H and M and stuff like that. We're gonna be showing you like our hype beast stuff like Supreme. Uh that's basically well, I shouldn't say the majority, and then we're gonna put some vintage stuff at the end because not everyone wants to see vintage stuff. So, yeah, let's get into my uh, hype beast stuff. Here we got the Views shirt from the Drake tour. I got this at a um, store, it's like a consignment store down in Fort Lauderdale. It's called The Archive. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't go check them out. Uh, prices are very uh, high, but that's where I got this. Just cop this from Sneaker Games Orlando. This is the Blazendary Kicks Sneaker Games Orlando exclusive shirt signed by uh, Blazendary Kicks. And then uh, I guess you could call that a signature from Pretty Boy Fredo. I don't, I don't think he really has signature. It just says Fredo two time. But okay, the Supreme uh, Rocket Tee. This is from, um, hold on. Just cut it. Hello? Hello? Yes? Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, we're making a video. Alright. Alright, bye. Bye. Hey guys, my mommy was calling. Um, just so you guys know, mommy's not the plug, neither is his dad. Okay? <laughs> At least not for me. I can't speak for other people. Not the plug. I'm the plug. Okay? Next up, the Supreme Rocket Tee, size medium. I mean, you can try to legit check that little clear whatever thing, but I, I mean, if it's a Rocket Tee. If I was going to buy fake, I would probably buy a box logo, honestly. You, you know what I mean? It's freaking Rocket Tee. So, yeah, navy. Last, like, high beast thing. I got a whole bunch of vintage stuff. This I also got at Sneaker Games. Orlando, this is size large. This is the Lagoon Tee. I like this one. I don't know why. You can get it for like $40, $45. I don't know why people don't like it that much. It's got the big Supreme on it. But yeah, that's it for my uh, Hype Beast clothing. So now let's get into Vincent's. Hey, what's up, guys? Vincent here, about to show you my Hypebeast clothing collection. Very limited stuff. Very, ex <laughs> very exclusive. So we're gonna start off here with the Sneaker Game shirt, signed by John Carlo. You notice on DJ's shirt, he got a very small signature from John Carlo. I got a very large one, because you know, me and John Carlo are like buddies now. So yeah, that's the first pickup. Mm -hmm. Here is the Supreme Chateau tee in the teal color, basic t-shirt. Not a hype one, but what I could afford right now. Got the Supreme Beach tee. My first Supreme shirt right here. My first one. Navy. Yep, Supreme Beach tee. And then I caught this at Sneaker Games, the anti-social club hoodie. I uh, got this for like 80 bucks. And I needed a hoodie before fall came, so I picked this one up. Yes, and I also have another Supreme shirt not with me right now, but if you go check out my last video, recent pickup video, I had the CNNT on and the blue colorway. With the box logo on the back. Damn. Damn. Bitch. Damn. Damn. Bitch. Damn. That's it for my Hypebeast collection. Alright guys, so if you just wanted to see the hype beast stuff, you can click off the video now, but we're about to get into my uh, 
Vintage, yeah, vintage. That's the word I was looking for. My vintage collection. Uh, Vincent doesn't really. Actually, he has a few pieces over there, but my vintage collection is pretty huge because you know that thrift is the plug. So first off, I'm gonna start off with the jerseys. Um, we got this uh, Mike Miller Champions jersey. Uh, thrifted this for I think like two bucks. Uh, pretty good deal. It is one of like a great come up I found at the thrift. It's a Jason Richardson jersey. And I know you're like, who is that? Like, you don't know who that is, but it's signed by Jason Richardson right there. Found this at the thrift. I think it was like $10 because they see a signature and they're just, you know, they got to charge you more for it. Obviously, if you can't tell, uh, people in Orlando donate a lot of Orlando stuff because we're in Orlando. So another Orlando jersey, Vince Carter jersey. Uh, this is an Adidas one, yeah. I still got the thrifted tag on there. This one was, this one was $11, I don't know why. But, here we go for that. The, almost the GOAT, the Allen Iverson jersey for the Sixers. This is a Nike team jersey. This is pretty old. Um, uh, next up we got this starter, I guess. Yeah, this is a jacket, I guess. Um, really like plush and everything. It has a metal starter zipper right here. Got the Florida Gator on the back. You know, everything is, got the zipper on the side for you hype beasts. Um, currently trying to sell this, so I wear a medium slash large in Supreme, and this is a large and it fits me. So hit me up if you want this. I, I'm, I'm selling it pretty low. I have it listed on eBay right now. So uh, if you want it, just hit me up. Next up, we got this um, Magic Champions. I think it's like a warm up something. Warm up top, I guess you call it. Um, this is. Pretty cool looking. Uh, if it fit me, I'll probably keep it. And if I like the magic, but I don't like the magic. It has a champion's like zipper right there. And the, the logo right here. And then on the back, it has the magic right there. And last but not least, my best thrift find ever. Uh, is this Polo Sport uh, crew neck. This is from the 90s. Um, Vincent actually found it. Uh, we were about to leave and he was like, yo, what is this? And then uh, it actually came with the sweatpants too, but I mean, I mean, they're just green sweatpants. So uh, I found another one of these on eBay for 125 So and I got it for $7. So, that's why we go to the thrift, people. Now let's get into Vincent's, uh, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, I'm back here with my vintage collection. I really don't have anything vintage because I'm not like DJ where he thinks he can resell Mike Miller jerseys. Like, <laughs> what is that? So, here I have a guest shirt. I'm a big, like I really want to get into guest and stuff designer, so this is a good pickup for beginners. A guest tee. Got this white guest tee. I also have another guest long sleeve with a pocket with the embroidered guest logo. Nice shirt. I got this at Plato's Closet for like $10. Yeah, this shirt probably retails for like $50 around there. And I have this Metallica tee that I bought at the thrift. It was all black. And I did the bleach job myself. To me, it came out pretty nice. Others would think different, which, you know, I'm a fashion designer, so I design my own clothing. Pretty fresh. This would have to be my only vintage piece that I can consider vintage. Rolling Stones tea. <laughs> DJ probably has like all the statistics statistics on this t-shirt because he's a, a vintage head all of a sudden. Rolling Stones tee with that vintage cracking. 
from the roll sky? You know what we say? Resale. I paid a buck fifty. Seen them on eBay for like seven or eight K maybe? Maybe. Shipped. Hit me up. Seven or eight K cents. Thanks for watching my vintage collection. Hey, I got a Glock in my room.